Gauss's mathematics has touched many parts of the mathematical world, but I'm going to just choose one of them, a fun one, imaginary numbers. In the 16th and 17th century, European mathematicians imagined the square root of minus one and gave it the symbol i. They didn't like it much, but it solved equations that couldn't be solved any other way. Imaginary numbers have helped us to understand radio waves, to build bridges and aeroplanes. They're even the key to quantum physics, the science of the subatomic world. They've provided a map to see how things really are. But back in the early 19th century, they had no map, no picture of how imaginary numbers connected with real numbers. Where is this new number? There's no room on the number line for the square root of minus one. I've got the positive numbers running out here, the negative numbers running here. The great step is to create a new direction of numbers, perpendicular to the number line. And that's where the square root of minus one is. Gauss was not the first to come up with this two-dimensional picture of numbers, but he was the first person to explain it all clearly. He gave people a picture to understand how imaginary numbers worked. And once they developed this picture, their immense potential could really be unleashed. Morgan, uh, and cafe yeah. Yeah? Okay. His maths led to a claim and financial security for Gauss. He could have gone anywhere, but he was happy enough to settle down and spend the rest of his life in sleepy Göttingen. Unfortunately, as his fame developed, so his character deteriorated. A naturally conservative shy man, he became increasingly distrustful and grumpy. Many young mathematicians across Europe regarded Gauss as a god, and they would send in their theorems, their conjectures, even some proofs. But most of the time, he wouldn't respond. And even when he did, it was generally to say either they got it wrong or he'd proved it already. His dismissal or lack of interest in the work of lesser mortals sometimes discouraged some very talented mathematicians from pursuing their ideas. But occasionally, Gauss also failed to follow up on his own insights including one very important insight that might have transformed the mathematics of his time.